Thousands of volunteers provided free dental care to people in need at the Minnesota Mission of Mercy in Bemidji today. Jamil Donath explains how this two-day event is treating vulnerable populations and raising awareness about barriers to dental care. Thousands of dentists volunteering their services. They're doing a terrific job. For Minnesotans in need. The dental community is stepping up and, and really trying to do something for these people. The second annual Minnesota Mission of Mercy in Bemidji is the first in northern Minnesota. Northwestern Minnesota is actually designated federally as an underserved area for dental care. With nearly one million dollars of free dental care, organizers hope to serve 2,000 patients statewide during the two-day event. It's so awesome that these people do something like this. It's a good thing. It's our privilege to be able to do that. Yeah, so we're glad exactly. you're here today. Patients came for cleaning, filling, extractions, partial dentures, even root canals. So if I've had two cavities filled, I don't have any insurance and it's very cost prohibitive for me. It changes, literally changes so many people's lives. While providing care to patients, Mission of Mercy's goal is also to raise awareness about the lack of funding for low-income, disabled, and elderly populations in Minnesota. The state has some plans that uh, make access very difficult for patients. And the barriers of care aren't just to the patients, but also the providers. Public assistance patients, the reimbursement is not enough even to cover the overhead of the care. And 80% plus of dentists are private uh, small business owners. Ultimately, the mission of Mercy is to ensure every Minnesotan has access to dental care. Hopefully uh, uh, that'll change someday, uh, that there won't be such a need. A world where anyone can afford a smile. <laughs> Jamil Donith, Lakeland News. The event continues tomorrow from 5.30 in the morning until 5 in the evening. Treatment is first come, first serve. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.